Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be kind of like a fluffy mail, except I made all the pads. Um, but I made them using patterns from one maker and I really enjoyed sewing these pads. Um, I found the pattern so easy to use and I love the fit um, and feel of the final pad, so I really wanted to show, um, show them all together so you know I could send some people um, the maker's way because I think they're really great patterns that anybody who likes sewing pads um, should try. So all the pads are from the Happy Hippos. Um, Two of the pads are from a free pattern that we had over the weekend called the Sarah. Um, the pattern was just free for a couple of days. I think it will be on sale at some point. And I highly recommend buying it when they do come up for sale. Um, and the other ones are all from her Kirby Flare line. So I'm going to show you the first pad. This is the 10 inch um, Sarah. So the way that was pattern was designed, it was one pad shape that could be cut um, and recombined to give you two additional shapes. So this is the default shape. Uh, a 10 inch asymmetrical. I made mine as a as a moderate with cotton top and anti pull fleece back. You could also recombine it to make an 11 inch symmetrical or 9 inch symmetrical. So I went with the 11 inch. Um, this one is cotton below top uh, with wind pro on the back and um, a hidden core, which I have come to prefer for certain toppers because I don't like. Um, I never do a good job of core stitching, and <laughs> if I can hide it, then I don't want to show it, so I have a hidden core here. And I use a piece of um, bird's eye cotton because it's very thin, it gives a little bit of extra absorbency and it doesn't stretch when you sew it so it's pretty easy to do a hidden core with that. So that actually extends all the way into the wing here. Um, the other pads are from a purchase pattern that I bought um, over the weekend. She released some new sizes so there was a coupon. <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> These are all from her, her Kirby Flare line. Um, so this one is an 8 inch from that line. Um, Cotton velour top with upcycled denim on the back. This also has a hidden core. So I just used one layer of um, um, bird's eye cotton all the way through. Um, the reason I did that too was because I found that I, on my machine it was easier for me to stitch these kind of stretchy toppers like velours and knits um, if that, if the back of the topper really wasn't under my presser foot. So using the bird's eye cotton was easier for me to manage. Um, the next one I have, again from the Kirby Flare line, is this 10-inch moderate, uh, cotton below top, hidden PUL with cotton on the back. Oh, I should show you what it looks like snapped. <clears throat> I, I've really come to like wrap wings for at-home use, so it kind of fits like a wrap wing. And that's what it looks like from behind. And, you know, it's a nice asymmetrical shape, which I like um, for certain lengths. So, I feel a lot of my, a lot of my pads actually, I like, prefer it's asymmetrical actually. Um, so this is 10 inch, and you can, you know, rotate it if, this, if you want front coverage or back coverage. Uh, let me show you what the 8 inch looks like snapped. And this one snaps up pretty nice and narrow, which I like for liners. Um, this is what the 11 inch Sarah looks like snapped. I really like the Sarah. Um, it, they snap up so nice and narrow in the gusset, and you get great coverage front to back. And on the 10 inch one... If you're somebody who likes um, 10 inch liners, I think this would be a great shape because it does snap up nice and trim. And the last one I bought was the 12 inch Kirby flare pattern, and I bought I made two of those. Sorry. Um, so this is this one is cotton below top with hidden PUL and hit, uh, upcycled denim on the back, and this is what it looks like snapped. This is on the wider width. The pattern comes with two snap options. Um, I'm not sure I put my snaps in exactly the right place, but this is where I wanted mine. So again, great um, asymmetrical coverage. And the second one I made from that same size was um, uh, this knit top hidden PUL with cotton on the back because I wanted something that was a little bit thinner because this one turned out a little bit kind of thick because of the below paired with the denim. But this one is super thin with um, hidden PUL and cotton on the back. And it looks a little, a little bit trimmer. Um, so yeah, so those are my pads from the Happy Hippos um, patterns. Highly recommend them. Um, I'll include the link to her Etsy shop where she sells the patterns and to her Facebook group. Um, Facebook group is a really fun place. Lots of people posting pictures of their pads. Uh, she also has several coupons available if you want to buy several sizes, uh, which I like because <clears throat> sometimes um, pad makers sell their patterns in a big bundle, which obviously you know you get it for a cheaper price per pattern, but I don't really use all the sizes, I, I know the sizes I want, so I was able to buy the 8, 10, and 12 individually, 
um, and get a good deal with the coupon. So, um, I'll include all those links below, and thanks for watching. Bye.